Hi, this is Jules and this is me. For my 50th, I wanted to learn to sell properly. So I went off on a course to sell. But I didn't want to do it on my own, so I took Jules along. The outcome of that was that we decided to sell everything we own and buy a boat, a bigger boat. We now are the proud owners of a Moody 34. Uh, I'm on the boat, it's end of January 2017. Um, been down here nearly a week, got absolutely loads down. Jules was down for the first two days, but it was just too cold for her. So she's gone home. Um, she's actually coming to collect me tomorrow. Um, so I've been able to put in some long days and hours running cables. All the cables and that lot have all been run through the boat. I've got some that went through the bulkheads. Um, deck heads and that and just all the panels had to come down just to run the cables from the uh, circuit board the breakers and that lot to the, the TV um, and uh, just stuff like that and the TV area obviously because the asset the after the boat that had to come all the way through and up to here so the TV's been an absolute nightmare to fit for what it is but um, we can get terrestrial TV now, we get free view. Um, it's got a, a DVD player built in the side. It, it does hard drive as well. So I can watch movies off of the hard drive, um, plays music and all that sort of, sort of stuff. You plug a computer into it as well, which I'm considering doing later. Um, yeah, so I've done that. I did do all the new um, over at the navigation table. I tidied all that up because it was all very dated and the wiring was a little bit iffy um, the sat nav was plugged into a cigarette lighter and not hardwired in properly through a fuse and stuff so I've hardwired all that in and tidied all that up and just got there was an old depth gauge that, that I didn't even know if it worked to be honest it was it was just outdated there was a new one on board a much newer version so I've got rid of that it took up a lot of space for what it was so I've tidied all that up with black perspex so that's made that nice um we're at the london boat show uh that that was great fun um talked to a few people um tony at copper coat um and i'm um, gonna do some stuff with them uh there's other couple of companies one about heating so i'm gonna put some heating in the boat because we don't have any which is the reason why jules went home um we do have a gas heater but i don't like using it gas on a boat really um plus the condensation absolutely a huge amount of condensation gets produced um a colleague of mine on the next boat he's on liverboard and um he actually has a dehumidifier he has a steel boat um so obviously condensation is an absolute nightmare for him so he has a, a dehumidifier on board and absolutely swears by it but he is on mains um i can run it on mine i could probably run it quite well with my batteries and so on and so forth but I'm going to have a look around and see if I can find something that's cheaper and easier to run um, that does the same job. It's only 12 volt, low ampage. Um, when he's got 300 watt, um, so I don't know what that will break down into amp hours, and I don't know if my uh, solar panels or wind turbine would run it constantly. Plus I'm not here to empty it, so I don't really see how that's going to work. But uh, we built a gantry. Um, we built it out of um, handrail, for want of a better word. Galvanised handrail to see the shape that we want, make sure it works. Um, later on we might change it out for stainless steel. If this starts to rust um, and just look horrible, then we are then consider changing it out um, but at the moment we've built it uh, I built it in my father's garden to start with um, and then when I got it down here I found that the design I did in his garden wasn't really going to work here um, and I changed the poles round yeah so we changed the, 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 the aft poles and put them on the side of the frame um, and that's now given us the, the, the solar panels hang out over the back slightly um, which now gives us davits so in changing the design we've given ourselves davits for the boat so so that's actually a, a bonus that wasn't um, going to be uh, I, I toyed with it and dismissed it um, 
but in changing the design at the last minute I got them anyway um, and I jury rigged it up today um, and it works fine works brilliantly so I've got to buy a couple of more components and uh, we'll, we'll, we'll have davits um, so yeah really pleased with that for storing for the dinghy obviously if we do any deep sea long haul stuff then it'll be deflated and stored up on deck um, but for coastal hopping yeah hang it off the davits absolutely brilliant going to be spending most of the time at anchor anyway so we'll be using the dinghy most nights so it'd be a shame to have to keep deflating it and inflating it and, and so on and so forth and it does take up a lot of deck space so um so yeah so really pleased about that um yeah uh absolutely apart from the cold we've got the leds in as you, as you can see um they're on red at the moment but they can go any color you want you can have a disco with them if you if you're that way inclined uh they're quite cheap they, they are a bit um if i change the volume on the tv it changes the uh the color of the um lights as you can see so if i change if i push a button the tv i get different Oh, little TV on there. There you go. So yeah, so we've now got flashing lights, and that's all done by the TV remote. What's the chances, eh? Um, but yeah, very pleased with the progress. Haven't done many videos so far uh, this year, um, simply due to the the weather um, and work commitments. Get down here again next week, um, weather permitting. Jules and I are actually going to go and do some sailing, and. Uh, at the end of February the or first of March the boat actually comes out of the water um, and the media blaster will be in and do the media blasting and, and it will be ready for copper coat uh, when I come back from work um, at the end of uh, March April March yeah March so yeah so there'll be all that will be videoed haven't videoed any of the work I've done um, I'm terrible I'm not like Muzz, um, it's sailing life, um, I wish I was, he's absolutely brilliant with his videos, if you haven't seen him, check him out, um, but uh, yeah, the, the work I've done, I've done it very quickly uh, and concentrated on the work and not on the videoing, so I apologise for that, um, but I'm very pleased with the outcome, the outcome's worked out better than I expected, um, this is a really nice environment to be in now. Um, you can have nice gentle lighting while you're watching TV um, or play cards which my wife and I do a lot um, and yeah we've got 240 volts uh, whenever we need it so she can run our hair dryer um, which was the criteria had to run a hair dryer I have done that it's cost me a fortune but she can run her hair dryer um, and yeah uh, the only thing we haven't got is hot water I don't really want to run the hot water off my inverter because I think it will kill my batteries. So if we're getting a heating system, we're going to pay the extra and we're going to get a heating system with a boiler so it gives me hot water um, and blow air heating. Um, that'll be a diesel heater. Um, but yeah, we're, we're, that's what we're looking at uh, for the foreseeable future. Um, but uh, yeah one step at a time i guess thank you all very much if you like what we're doing give us a thumbs up please share the videos with all your friends um we now have a website uh no sorry we now have a facebook page which is sv second to nd wind um please check that out as well there's more up-to-date stuff on there um and very interactive on there a lot of guys come on and ask questions and give me advice which i'm quite happy to take so if you want to leave me any advice or anything or anything you want me to do, um, hopefully there'll be some nice drone footage uh, coming up um, around the marina and Southampton waters. And uh, yeah, and then hopefully out into the Solent and on and on beyond. Um, we'd like to get to the Sillies sometime this year. And then of course in August we're doing the big one and getting down towards Gibraltar. 
and uh, yeah, um, we'll take you guys along. So please stick with us. And uh, sorry for the delay in getting these videos out, but uh, yeah, please follow along. It's going to be good.